Hi, Mesh Barnkopf from Kaiser Power Electronics here. Today I would like to uh, talk a little bit about uh, a um, high intensity LED lightning system that I want to build. Uh, this is of course to use with the FPS 1000 HD high speed camera. Because if there is one thing you need more than more frames per second, it is an infinite amount of light. So if I could have my own sun in the laboratory or the garage or workshop, that would just be awesome. Well, I can't exactly do that. So what I have uh, done is um, I bought uh, five 50 watt LEDs. Now this is just uh, about too little, but I want to start out with a concept or prototype for a 250 watt uh, LED and um, see what kind of results I get with this and then maybe build some more or even get some uh, 100 watt cups. Um, so for each of these LEDs, I got a CPU cooler that I will use. And I also got a 60 degree um, lens for it. So let's take a closer look at these uh, components. The four, uh, the five LED cups here are 50 watt each. Uh, they are 4,500 uh, 4, lumens at the 600K uh, color. So these are cold, uh, slightly blue um, in, the, um, in the color. Uh, I bought these from a German seller. Uh, they came tested at a uh, 36 uh, volt DC. Um, and I bought these from Germany because I wanted to have a, a bit easier um, to return them in case of a failure. Uh, if I bought these from China, that would just probably not come tested and I would not be totally sure what I was getting. At least here I got a, a few more details. For the lens, I uh, ordered uh, a um, set here. It comes with a, a small plastic reflector, a 60 degree glass lens and a lens holder. Now the lens holder fits nicely on the outer part here on the heatsink. Um, and the uh, LED itself can sit on the inside of the copper core here and not hit the two heat pipes when I have to mount it on the uh, outer skirts of it. The heat sinks comes from um, some uh, Pentium 4 desktop PCs, so I have uh, five identical of these uh, Foxconn um, mounts. I think it was some uh, HP uh, computers or such, but yeah, that doesn't really matter. They can dissipate 50 watt just fine, so that's what I got so far. I'm still waiting for four, four more um, reflectors uh, to come in the mail. And I have uh, another four of these out in the workshop. And it has been exactly one week since the last clip was recorded. I have gotten the last two packages here. Opened one of them already. Let's see what's inside the other one. Now I ordered this from three different uh, Chinese sellers in order to get it all at once, but yeah, that did not really succeed that great anyway. Um, but this should be the exact same units, you know, no matter what seller you buy from, uh, from China, they almost have the identical uh, assortment of products when it comes to something standard like this. I even think this pouch is exactly the same from the previous, I don't have the previous ones, but I would guess so, if we can see these are actually from two different sellers. And as we can see, it's the exact same part number, so yeah, it doesn't really matter who you buy it from. These are also glass lenses. I do have a few uh, marks from uh, shipping, but nothing that won't uh, work. Let's see. Yeah, it's also the same glass lens. Let's check the third seller. Yeah, and as expected, it's the same. So, uh, apart from a few um, marks and dents, um, there's nothing too serious about 
ordering from the uh, from different sellers when it's a standard product like this. So all I have to do now is uh, get the LED cups um, mounted on the five heat sinks here. Here you can see the different sides of uh, the five heat sinks, and then um, yeah, we can start testing. The heat sinks have now been uh, tapped with the M3 and M4 for the um, reflectors. The, um, the thread you can see it's on the outer edge of this uh, copper piece and some of the places it has uh, actually uh, broken through the uh, side of the cover. Uh, nothing too bad, I can still mount the, uh, the LED cups just fine. So first let's take look at one of the cups again what we want our wires connected to them it has a plus and a minus sign on it and I had some red and blue wire just pre solder the pad here Now I just went with a large gauge wire here in order to have some mechanical sturdiness on it. It's only going to draw about one and a half amp per LED, so that's not really the reason to choose a large gauge wire. But more that this will be a setup that has to be moved around a bit and packed up and down and such so that's better to make it to make it sturdy so now we have that we just need a bit of heat sink paste and let's just take this one now we only want a ever so slightly thin layer we don't want the uh, LED floating on top of a large layer of uh, heat sink compound here and now I also have a purpose for some of all these uh, M3 screws that I took out of uh, mobile base station amplifiers, a nice and small uh, threaded uh, screws, so that com comes in handy to save something like that. So now we don't want to tighten these too hard. Then we just uh, get a uh, possible uh, bending, um, that it starts bending and you lose contact to the uh, copper, um, copper heatsink base plate there. So now uh, we can actually place the reflector. Now, yeah, that's of course nice. We'd have to get the wires out over the side here first, like that. Now it has uh, two small, four small tabs here. Goes into these holes. It really doesn't like that wire. <laughs> okay, so choosing a large gauge was not un un unconditional success. Now I know from uh, videos uh, from other people that have built the uh, floodlights from these LED cups that you actually have to cover up some more uh, out around the edges here else you get like a yellow um, glow around the edges of your uh, beam uh, I will not do that to start with uh, it was quite quite easy to remove the lens afterwards so um, I'll just try this first first and uh, see what it looks like and then you can always go back and remake that but first let's so you have to move these wires out a bit. Now it's suddenly not so easy to 
to solder on when it's sitting on a heat sink. Steals a lot of heat. There, just like that. Let's see, uh, it fits nicely. With a lens on and the lens holder. I just took some really long M4. Okay, these are way too long. So I really wanted to test these once they have now been assembled all five units. And these silver plastic reflectors is of course painted with something conductive. Just take a look at this. Because I, when I powered it up it will uh, hit the, the current limit of my power supply, as you see here. It's actually a rough 20 ohm, so between the two sides was it actually a good th 30, 30 ohm? So that would of course uh, short out my uh, my power supply way above the current limiting for the uh, LEDs. So yeah, I have to uh, have some kind of plastic overlay here before I can put these reflectors on. Lesson learned. Instead of um, yeah, cutting out a piece of plastic that I did not know uh, how hot this surface would get, that it would melt, I simply uh, scraped Oops, I simply uh, scraped off uh, the um, silver paint on the two sides where the connection uh, to the wires are. So now we can do a proper test. All the uh, reflectors have had their conductive paint removed, so it's time to a um, low power test. I'm feeding these from my 30 volt DC um, current limited power supply, limited to a half an amp. So this should give us around 15 watt, uh, so it's about one third of the power uh, they can yeah spend so let's just try to hook them up in a row and we will blind the shit out of my phone that worked just fine and that one as well And that is also incredible bright, just uh, here standing at the side, actually trying to, to look away uh, while hooking up the wire. And the last one here. So yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing the um, few problems I had uh, assembling these and uh, what the pitfalls there were, especially with the conductive paint on the reflectors, but also uh, yeah, that the heat sinks didn't quite fit. But that's how it is when you want to reuse parts that you have lying around. You have to adapt, overcome, survive. So until next time, see ya.